Yo, what's good? You dub, unexpected winner back again. Here to talk about a theory I've had for a while. Um, <laughs> you'll see the you'll see the title, the Dragon Ball Alternate Dimension Theory. Now, if you're into the video games like Xenoverse, I think Dragon Ball Heroes, a lot of them, I know they deal with these concepts. I'm not including the the video game universes and multiverse they they have their own things going on we all know this that the power scaling and stuff way different just way different just like how in dc and marvel sometimes they'll have they'll have the actual multiverse and then they'll have like other timelines but then they'll have other stuff completely yeah we're not we're not dealing with that all right just simply deal with the movie timeline the you know, anime timeline, the manga timeline, and even the GT timeline, DBGT timeline. And when you look at it, people say inconsistencies, even though things can fit. Like, for example, the anime, DBGT, even though there's issues, technically super can fit in because of the time frame. But the inconsistency. So what happened? What caused these quote unquote inconsistencies in canon and such, right? What caused these um differential things well if you understand anything about messing with timelines messing with time messing with um dimensions by manipulation whether it be an outside force on some dr manhattan stuff uh and and dc rebirth whether it be you know the timeline uh Tom Foolery as people would say the the foolishness that uh Future Trunks has done in Dragon Ball uh all the way you can go back to quote unquote DBZ um back in the uh, um the Android saga and the Cell saga as well as the um Future Trunks slash Goku Black Arc. You go through all that. If you really look at it, there are multiple points where you can see a dimensional splitting, right? With the movie universe, why it came to be, you can go all the way back to Dead Zone. All the way back to Dead Zone. When Garlic Jr. shows up, you start a completely different dimension. Because if you get, you, the timeline just don't match except for a few movies. Um, I know Battle Gods kind of fits, uh, Resurrection F, Dead Zone. Almost every other movie does not fit within the chronology of the series. Now, DBGT is very simple. What if Lord Beerus, Lord Beerus did not wake up? It's very simple what, what happened. That that caused the split. Now, as far as the anime and manga, why did they split? There isn't much difference, but you know the same amount of filler and such that were added into it in the anime. That would cause a split. I mean, you can go all the way back to really, I think, a lot of the split. Where, where would you say the split is with the with the anime? Um, you, you'll see little ripples throughout Dragon Ball Super's manga that is much different from the anime. So I think with just all the filler added, um, it worked with quote unquote DBZ, but as soon as you hit Dragon Ball Super, even though, even you can say Lord Beerus, how he acts is different. Um, just the path and direction you can say it's Toro Taro, but I think because they added filler, added different things. Um, parts like Super uh, Super Vegito versus Base v Vegito. We don't really see Base Vegito fight uh, Majin Buu, Super Buu, you know, in the in the manga. So you just see different things. I'd love to hear y'all thoughts. This is a quick video on a, and I think something you could go highly in depth on the what happened with Dragon Ball besides just saying oh he's writing and inconsistencies and stuff no, no no when you know comics and anime and manga and these different fictional things this kind of stuff happens often so alright y'all have a beautiful day beautiful night peace